resurrection. And so the, when, we are, when we go down into the water, we're saying the old man is dead. The old man is dead to the flesh. Uh, which, of course, we know takes place at salvation, but it's a sign. And when we are under the water, it's a burial. We're buried with Christ. We identify with his, his uh, time in the grave. And what a great uh, uh, thing to know that, that Christ went to the grave for us. But we identify with him just in this short moment. You know, it's not uh, as though we have to go to the grave. He is going to the grave for us. But we identify with him. And then, of course, coming back up, we rise into the new life. So it's the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ in the sign of water baptism. Fulfilling the command of Christ. And, and Sebastian, you will be baptizing people as you preach the word. and they get saved, uh, you will have the opportunity, the privilege of baptizing them and um, seeing them transformed by the power of God's uh, saving grace. And so we're thankful for that. I want to give you an opportunity to testify about what God's done in your life and, and just share. And, and I appreciate you inviting the elders to be here as well as, well as your family. But go ahead and share your testimony if you want. Um, well, I've been saved for a long time, since I was eight years old. Um, I've seen people get baptized. I've always wanted to get baptized, but I never knew that people were getting baptized until the last minute. So I just never got around to it. Um, so I believe that um, I've always struggled with issues in my life. Um, and I'm believing tonight that as I'm baptized, that some of those issues will be buried. Amen. Um, especially when I was younger, I dealt with anger a lot. And I'm believing that Christ is going to bury those issues and break any uh, curses that my parents had on their lives. Amen. That's what I want to see through Amen. my baptism. Praise God. So I can minister to others effectively. That's right. And God will do that. And you're stepping into this new chapter in your life, and you have to live. You have to live free from that. I just think it's interesting, like, what we're talking about, you know. I'm starting my ministry just about the same time as Jesus did, and, and he got baptized right before he started his ministry. That's right. So. That's right. Jesus wasn't baptized until he was 30. <laughs> you're 31. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that is neat. I didn't think about that. Well, good. Well, we appreciate, we appreciate you. We appreciate your heart to serve the Lord. For those who don't know, Sebastian, actually, I saw it Sunday, uh, and I thought maybe he went out and had it done. I didn't, I didn't know where, but his Bible says, Pastor, Sebastian, who's the second? I said, where did you have that done? Because, you know, he just got assigned this church, and he said he did it two years ago. And I said, two years ago? And he said he did it by faith. Yeah. And uh, knowing that God had called him to be a pastor, and that wonderful that uh, that he did that by faith, and, and here God is placing you in a place to be a whole missions pastor to start mm -hmm. from ground zero. Right. So remember, the first person that you lead to the Lord, you have to live that life that will show Christ in everything that you say and do. And uh, it's uh, it's an awesome responsibility, but I know God's with you. Right. He's opened up this door for you, and uh, and I appreciate that you guys are opening this, these doors of this church. It's sitting there empty. Uh, God's going to fill with, with the Christians. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, Sebastian, I'm going to let you hold your nose, and I'm just going to put my hand on top of your hand, according to your profession of faith in Jesus Christ. And by these witnesses here in your testimony, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Father, I thank you, Lord, for Sebastian. God, I thank you, Lord, that you are setting him free from the afflictions of the flesh. God, the things that uh, the enemy has tried to attach to his life, God, are gone in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, God, for his ministry. I thank you, Lord, for his family. I thank you, God, for the calling that's on his life. And I pray, God, right now that this become a new day in his life and in his, his ministry. God, I pray for new doors to be opened. I pray, God, that you will be able to let people come into that church there in Livonia, God, and receive the gift of salvation. God, that they would be 
filled with the Holy Spirit and baptized in water, God, and, and on their way to heaven. Thank you, Lord, for this family. Thank you, God, for this man who is, who is faithfully, God, following your commandments. And we ask you to bless him in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Just give Jesus a hand. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming. Appreciate it.